So welcome to the manufacturing workspace tutorial uh, using Autodesk Fusion 360. So yesterday I have uh, uh, informed all of you to download the software Autodesk Fusion 360 to your computer. So once uh, you downloaded and installed the computer, the Fusion 360 software on your computer, you can see that this is the uh, icon Autodesk Fusion 360 with an uh, a letter that is F. So F represents Fusion. Okay. So this is that icon. Then you just uh, right click this icon, then click open. Right click this Autodesk Fusion 360 in the desktop and then click open. So when you click open button, you can see yeah when you right click that uh, autodesk fusion 360 and then open you can see this is the new interface you have to sign in with your autodesk account if you don't have an account you have to create a new account with the help of this option create account so i will enter my email id then i will click the next option yeah now I have uh, logged into my Autodesk Fusion 360 account. <clears throat> yeah. Now uh, you can see this. This is the design workspace. So this is called a workspace. Okay you are actually working in this space that is called a workspace. So this is called a design workspace. You can change uh, the workspace. Uh, so here, the first workspace that is called a design workspace. So this design workspace is actually used to create some 3D shapes, some 3D CAD models. That is the use of this design workspace. Another workspace is generative design, render, animation, simulation manufacture and uh, drawing so these are some different workspaces generative design is actually uh, uh, you have to define a design problem by specifying the functional uh, manufacturing and mechanical requirements so you will get n number of uh, designs uh, with the help of that n number of designs you can select the appropriate design so that is n number of solutions okay uh, with the help of this generative design, you have n number of solutions. There is no single solution. So that is generative design. Then rendering means you you have you can create a realistic renderings of your design. Animation uh, is actually you can create animations. Simulation means you can perform simulations to determine how loads lead to deformation and failure. The different types of uh, simulations like uh, stress analysis. Um, the modal analysis, thermal analysis, etc. Then this is our topic that is the manufacturing workspace. So you can uh, create, generate the toolpath strategies. You can generate the, uh, the, you can convert the cutter locations into the NC numerical control codes. And finally, the next workspace that is a drawing workspace. With the help of this drawing workspace, you can uh, generate the drawings. Okay, so these are the different workspaces available. So, so I will, uh, before uh, entering into the manufacturing workspace, I will just uh, click this data panel. This is the data panel. Okay, when you click the data panel, uh, you can see some sample files are there. Your recent data, your sample files, your assets, etc. So in, in the, uh, this samples actually represents you can you can study, uh, you can take different models and you can study with the help of the samples. So here under the samples, you can see basic training. So here you can see introduction, then sketching, sculpting, modeling, etc. Okay, so everything will be there. Okay, so I will go with this uh, CAM samples. Okay, 
uh, cam sample then i will open say chest spawn okay i will double click this yeah then i will close this data panel yeah so here uh, here you can see so the first thing is the uh, you have to create the cat model okay so that is the first step you have to create the cat model with the help in the design workspace that is the first step then uh, just go to the manufacturing workspace if you are uh, dealing with the toolpath strategies then you can go with the manufacturer workspace if you are interested in generative design then you can go with this generative design rendering go with the rendering uh, workspace animation like that okay so here i am dealing with the manufacturing workspace i will select this manufacturing workspace when you click the manufacturing workspace you can see there are uh, so many options so the first option that is the milling this is actually dealing with the milling machine that is three axis machine you can see this is the x axis y axis and z axis you can see the three axis okay uh, if it is a turning machine you can see turning means a lathe machine okay so uh, if you are interested in turning you can use this this option and if you are interested in 3d printing you can see that this additive option and if you are interested in the inspection uh, you can uh, you can use this inspection option and if you are dealing with the uh, laser cutting uh, water jet cutting or plasma cutting you can use this fabrication so that was the uh, the the top tab so every tab you can see the first option is the setup option if it is a milling you can see setup turning setup additive setup inspection setup fabrication setup so every this manufacturing the first step is the setup option so what is actually setup so setup means that you have to that is actually the first step in uh, any manufacturing process okay define the working model the stock size the fixtures the work coordinate system uh, is it a milling machine or milling machine or is it a, or it is a turning machine or it is additive or water jet cutting plasma cutting etc okay you have to uh, first you have to set up uh, your manufacturing process so that is with the help of this uh, setup whether it is a milling machine milling milling program or training additive inspection fabrication the first thing is the setup option then uh, then you can see uh, uh, now this is the milling uh, option you can see the strategies these are the toolpath strategies so here you can see 2d uh, toolpath strategies 3d toolpath strategies drilling operations multi axis operations etc so the uh, for example i will uh, so i will i will explain all these uh, uh, in detail uh, in in the coming videos so here this is actually uh, an initial video overall idea of this fusion 360 so for example if if it is 2d adaptive clearing so this is if you want to remove a large amount of material so for example if you want to uh, cut a pocket okay so first you have to remove large amount of material so for removing large amount of material you can use this adaptive clearing strategy and for finishing you can use this 2d pocket strategy okay so that is the uh, that is the step so for, again if you if if you want to cut a contouring if you want to cut the outer boundary of the workpiece so first you have to remove large amount of material so you can use this adaptive clearing strategy and then after that you can you can use this 2d contour strategy for removing the outer boundary of the workpiece so these are the toolpath strategies 2d toolpath strategies 3d toolpath strategies drilling operation and multi axis etc so uh, so you you have to select which type of toolpath strategy you are using and you can use that appropriate toolpath strategy then after that uh, you can see the action step okay with the help of this actions you can generate all your operations for example here you can see in the left browser you can see setup okay uh, under the setup you can see four strategies the first strategy is the phase strategy groove strategy groove one strategy groove two strategy and part strategy okay and here you can see t1 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 so this actually represents tool so tool number one 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 okay in actual case it is not like that this is one strategy this is another strategy this is another strategy and tool numbers are actually t1 t2 t3 t4 etc okay it depends this actually depends upon your your machine also okay uh, so so this is four different strategies okay so first you have to generate uh, all your operations so that is that is the generate option then after that you can simulate it so simulate means you can see the see the tool path movement tool movement with the help of the simulate option and next is the post process so post process is uh, in the post process the cutter location data is actually converted into 
the numerical control code and finally the setup sheet the setup sheet is actually an overview of the nc program for the cnc operator it consists of tool data stock workpiece position machining statistics etc okay so this this is the overall uh, overall idea about the different tabs in in the milling operation similarly turning operation the first is the setup you have to set up the, all these things then then next is uh, in turning operation uh, turning means lathe only two axis x axis and z axis so these are the different strategies if you want to remove the material from the front side you can use this facing strategy if you want to uh, roughing you can use this profile roughing finishing groove single groove thread chamfer etc so these are the different strategies used in the uh, lathe machine and if there is drilling you can use this then finally you can generate and simulate post process and a setup sheet okay then if you are dealing with the 3d print 3d printer or 3d printing additive manufacturing you can use this additive option the first thing is the setup then you can generate the codes then if you are dealing with the inspection you can use this this the fourth option the first step is the setup option then you can use the probe okay create manual inspection and finally you can post process it and finally you can import the inspection results and your and save your inspection report and the next one that is the fabrication if you are dealing with the uh, water jet cutting or laser cutting or or plasma cutting you can use this fabrication okay again first step is the setup then you have to select which type of operation is it plasma cutting or laser cutting or water jet cutting then you can generate the code simulate post process and generate the setup sheet okay so that was the overall idea about the different operations milling turning additive inspection and fabrication in the manufacturing workspace of mission 360 okay so i will give you an, an example so this is an example of hs pawn okay i will click this turning option and here uh, the setup is ready the all the tool strategies are ready uh, tool one uh, is actually selected then i will directly go to the action step then i will click the generate button here you can see uh, all the tool path generator then then after that uh, i will go with this simulate okay so when i will click the simulate button you can see the click the play button you can see the simulation okay you can see the simulation yeah this is actually a cylindrical workpiece lathe so this workpiece is actually rotating and this tool is actually moving this x and z direction and finally cut this okay you will get the chest part okay and then uh, so the simulation is correct then i will go with the post processing so in the post processing i will select the i am currently using fano controller machine so i will select fano turning okay then i will click the post button then i will click the save replace it okay so here you can see yeah this is the nc code for fano controller machine okay so this is the 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 first of six steps then after that this is this this blocks these blocks actually represents the phasing operation the next is the groove one okay then after the first groove then second groove so this is the second groove and uh, next is the final is the parting okay and the end of the program sorry sorry i think that is not displayed in the so i will open this okay you share yeah okay so now you can see this is the nc codes yeah now you can see this is the nc codes okay this is the first six steps okay uh, then after that this is the phasing operation code okay n14 to n29 the next is the groove one n32 uh, Yeah, N32, N528. Then the next is the next to grow to N529 to N602. And finally, the parting N603 to N612. And the last, the end of the program. Okay. So this was the uh, the CNC course. You can copy this code into, into a pen drive or a memory card and you can connect 
with your machine and you can work with your cnc machine so the last step that is the setup sheet i will click this setup sheet and i will select the folder okay so here you can see this is the setup sheet so setup sheet consists of the stock details part number of operations uh, number of tools okay maximum feed rate spindle speed everything all the details so uh, tools okay so here only only one tool tool number one then what are the number of if 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 it, this consists of say four tools you can see t1 t2 t3 t4 so here number of operations four operations that is phase one groove one groove two and a part one okay so that was uh, the 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 uh, the overall idea about the fusion 360 okay once again i have explained uh, what is data panel so in the data panel you can see the sample files your recent data everything will be there okay if you are interested in uh, basic training uh, cam cam you can go with cam this 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 files okay if you are interested in electronic samples you can go with this if you are interested in generative design samples you can see some n number of samples alcoa bracket g bracket everything motorcycle triple clamp everything is there if you are interested you just go with this samples so that that's all about the data panel then how to change the workspace i already explained how to change uh, from one workspace to another workspace then uh, then the different options in manufacturing workspace that is milling turning additive inspection fabrication and uh, utilities okay you please just go through this uh, this all these options and and you have to take this uh, this sample okay uh, you have to take this sample that is this uh, chest bond sample and just go to uh, the turning option and then just uh, generate the the codes okay so uh, next video i will i will explain this in more detail okay thank you very much